Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Foot Birthday Player SBC. Today we're doing Rodrigo Palacio, which is to celebrate the Foot, well, 2000, FIFA, 20, FIFA 2010. No, no, it's FIFA 11, isn't it? It would be FIFA 11 for 2010, I think. Um, I think that's the way we're going. Uh, but Palacio's card is looking absolutely saucy as anything. Uh, 88 rate striker, uh, 93 pace, 87 shot, 83 passive, 95 dribbling, 52 defense, and 80 physicality. Uh, 5 foot 9, high, high work rates, 5 star skill moves this one, and 3 star weak foot. It's a shame it wasn't 5 star weak foot because I would have definitely loved using this card. Um, <laughs> you get into his in game stands. Oh, Jesus. 94 acceleration with 92 sprint speed, decent. 98 attack positioning with 92 finishing, excuse me. Uh, 86 shot power, 74 long shots is the only thing that lets him down. 92 volleys and 91 penalties, so you know. 88 vision's decent, 82 crossing's decent for a striker. 73, 76 free kick accuracy, 87 short passing, because why not? 70 long passing, it's kind of low really. <laughs> 90 curve. Now we get into the good stuff. 90 agility, 95 balance, 89 reactions, 97 ball control, 95 dribbling, and 95 composure. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, 58 defense awareness, 83 head and accuracy, 86 jumping, 86 stamina, 72 strength, and 93 aggression? <laughs> and he has finesse shots as well. It's uh, kind of saucy, you know. And it's actually cheap considering the like what you what you can get. The only thing that lets him down is three star weak foot. Uh, before we get into just to let you know these are foot bin bite now prices at the time doing this SBC, which has been out for an hour and a half. Bids and stocks will of course be cheaper and don't forget prices do fluctuate. So requirements of the Serie A one, you do need one Serie A player. As you can see, I've actually got four, so easy peasy there. Team over and of 83, smack bang on 83, can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry of 70, uh, run 73, no position changes or loyalty. Uh, just strong links. Uh, we got a mixture of one German league player, uh, Portuguese league player, Chinese league player, and obviously the Italian league players. So we're getting to the start of Castiles. Castiles is 1.8k, nice and cheap. Uh, there is different goalkeepers you can use, but he's the cheapest at the moment. Uh, Lazari is the cheapest 81 rated left mid at 750 coins. Perrin is the cheapest 82 rated in the Italian league at 800 coins. Uh, the Tongan is 3.2k from the Portuguese league, and obviously strong links to Rafa who is 2.2k, again from the Portuguese league. Uh, Arthur is, you can use Arthur on Lucas Leiva, but Arthur is cheaper by a k at the moment, he's 10.5k. Uh, then obviously softlings to Augusto, who's 2.8k, is the cheapest 83 rated midfielder that I've not used apart from Oscar. Uh, Oscar's 2.8k, um, sorry, Oscar's 2k, your 2.8k, Oscar's 2k, apologies. Uh, Tilisca's 850 coins in the cam, Ibrahimovic is the cheapest 83 rate striker in the Italian league at 2.4. And then we finish off with Danaltovic up from the Chinese league, who is AK. So this is pretty cheap. We got it done for less than 30k, which is good. 28.3k, uh, 28 28 buy it now. You can get this done for about 25k, business and snipes. And would you believe it? You get yourself a decent pack, you get a 20k pack as well. So it's not much more than what the actual pack's worth. Can't complain of that. Then we get into the Argentinian one. Um, requirements, uh, you need one Argentinian player. I've actually got two. Uh, I've got Higuain and I've got uh, Acuna, so it doesn't really matter too much about that. Uh, team of the week players, minimum of two. As you can see, I've got Malanskivi, or whatever you pronounce the name is, is the cheapest 82 rated team of the week card at the moment at 24k. Most of them are around 24k, the cheap ones anyhow. Uh, team over on 85, a smack bang on 85, can't lower anyone else. Uh, team chemistry of 60, run 64, 63, 62. No position change for loyalty, of course, we've got strong links. Uh, no strong hyperlinks, and obviously 11 players to squad. As you can see, we've got one Italian league player, which is Paolo Lopez, because he's Spanish. Uh, Spanish La Liga, and then obviously MLS, and then Malinowski is actually from the Italian league, but it doesn't really matter, he just wants to be on no chem. Oh, by the way, uh, take that one chem off, we're still above 60, so we're buzzing. Uh, we'll start off with Lopez, he's 2.2k. Malinowski, as I said, is the cheapest uh, 82 rated team of the week card at the moment. You can throw in anyone at uh, 24k. Uh, they're still kind of expensive, so you know. Uh, Ator is 2k. Uh, Gaia is the cheapest 83 rated left back, apart from Acuna. He's 3.9. Acuna is 3k. Uh, Modric is 39.25k. Uh, Vela from the MLS is 2k. Hazard is 53.5. 
Matuidi is 2.8, Higuain is 2.1, and then we finish off Suarez, who's the cheapest 87 striker at 40k. Uh, you can use Griezmann as well. Uh, you can also use Cruz if you want to instead of Hazard, and you can use the var other variants of whatever you want to do. But this one was the cheapest way to do it. Uh, 174.75k, which is actually decent. So less than 175k, which is good. Uh, you get yourself a premium gold players pack, which is a 25k pack. So to do this Palacio card, 203.5k, buy it now prices. It's got to be one of the best value cards I've seen so far, which is absolutely crazy. Um, you get 45k worth of packs, you will 100% get this done less than 200k for, buy for bids and snipes. 100%. That is one of the... Uh, the only, as I said, the only thing that really lets him down is the three-star weak foot. But he's got pace for days, 98 attack position with 92 finishing, 92 volleys, 90 curve, 95 composure, 95 dribbling, 97 ball control, 95 balance, 90 agility. I actually think this is going to be one of these cards that's going to secretly, because he's three-star weak foot, I think it's going to be one of them cards that's going to be under the radar, and he's going to be unreal, absolutely unreal. Because his face stats don't actually show how good his in-game stats are. And people not always look at their in-game stats. But, you know, let me know what you think of this card. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it better than P uh, Podolski's card? I'm going yes. Um, hopefully I did save you some time and some money. Of course, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel in the video. Obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC methods like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. But that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy and obviously, peace.